Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber, special thanks to all of my patrons. My name's Neil and it's time for the next episode of Taskmaster Norway. I think I finally fully absorbed the Norwegian version of this awesome show, guys. I finally know all the names of all our contestants. I've finally figured out how to say Vagard. <laughs> I keep thinking there's an N in there for some reason, but it, there isn't. It's just Vagard. I know that Atli is the Taskmaster and Oli is his assistant, and I'm having fun. It's a great group of competitors. The tasks are a nice mix of hits from the UK version and new invented tasks, and I don't have too much else to say other than I'm looking forward to a fun 45 minutes here. So let's jump right into it. This is episode 5 of series 1 of Kongen Befaler, Taskmaster Norway. En byste i gull. Oh, nei. Ja, ja. <laughs> du? Oh, nei. Oh, nei. Dagens gjenstand er, synes jeg, ganske interessant. Ja. Ta med en ting du har gjort killed... med. Oh. Ok. That's a cool net. How did he kill it? Ja. Han kan bekrefte at han har drept med den. Ja, han kan bekrefte det. Bekrefte. Ja. Vi bodde i Afrika en stund. Snikk skritt. Og så var det en flaggomus som bodde der. Som... Eh, men så, så tenkte vi at kanskje vi skulle fange det. Så jeg tok eh, bassenghoven. Og skulle da... Men jeg brukte litt mye sånn motkraft. Sånn at det blev med en tennisrekkert funksjon da. Så den føk bare rett inn i en murvegg. Og døde momentant. What the bat did or the, the tool did? Ja, men den dekker jo veldig godt inn. Applause for murder. Dette har produsert en rundt 16 lik. Oh, so it's more than something you've killed with. Ok. En full automatisk. It's a rat trap. Dette er en Victor Multikill. Ok. Ja, to koselige trapper. Cozy stairs. Pianosmør. Pianosmør. It's the new genius. Ost er vist bare en myte at mus liker spesielt godt. Så går de da over noen jernplater, eller metallplater. Ja. Och när de är på sitt lyckligt lyckligaste, de går grillat till döda, faller ner i en skuff, var de då ligger pent och pentligt bort av att tisa. It's a rat trap. It's a mouse trap. Det är att den är ens den lovar att jag something or someone. Noa eller någon med. Men jag kan inte få till det. Ka. Ok Jeg valgte å ta sjansen på at Jeg kan bli diskvalifisert But I don't want to go to jail Jeg lover at noe har blitt dept med denne Something has been killed with this But I can't say who Og jeg lover at jeg kan ikke si Hvem Medier at du ikke engang kan antyde Yes, I don't want to go to jail Kan du fortelle om en 25 års tid Is there a Is there a statute of limitations Angrer du? Du er fjell. Ja, jeg angrer. Jeg skulle jo helst ha sett at det ikke hadde skjedd. Det er masse glitter. Mellom to og tre år siden. There's glitter on it. Det er glitter på den. Det er masse glitter på den. Is that an accurate subtitle translation? Jeg vil si det er et veldig svagt og sterkt bidrag jeg sitter med her. I am a murderer, but I don't want to admit anything. Det du gjør i potten her nå er hvorvidt... Jeg har med en torke. En torke. Hva er torke? Og da ligger jo runkevitsene oh, okay. der på rekke og rad. Og andre dyr. Jeg er veldig, veldig glad i dyr. Har hatt Men jeg har, uh, har hatt katt. Det, du har ikke ja. hatt noe lenger. Nei, nei, nei. <laughs> Men jeg har drept en gullfisk ved å holde den, presse den ned i vasken med torke veldig, veldig lenge. For jeg er jo som sagt ung, som du sa tidligere. Mm. Så jeg har jo ikke drept så mye. Jeg har ikke killed that much. Det kommer det. Det kommer det. Ja. Det kommer det. Jeg har med time. noe som rett og slett uh, drepte... Kjølrespekten min i 2018. Box wine. Jeg er litt imponert over meg selv, for jeg drakk da hele kartongen. The whole carton, well done. Men det er litt vanskelig. It is, because they're all murderers. Det er litt vanskelig å arrangere alt dette. Men jeg har ikke. Og det er beklagelig at du ikke har begått et ekte drap enda. Det mener jeg også kommer, så... Yes, kommer. Du får være på siste en så lenge, så får du bare ta deg sammen. Du er på andre plass, Bård, og du blir på første. For det er seis på flagget, Misa! Ja! Nå får vi få opp... Ja! Nå får vi 
Vi kan kjøre i gang med den første oppgave. Absolutt, og i tillegg så hjelper det å kunne litt sånn betydning av forskjellige type ord. Det kan hjelpe til. Det er noen som kan komme til å slite. Alright, I'm curious. Monarchs. Eggs and ducks. I love the recurring theme. Somebody needs to work on their wax seals on this show, though. Høyeste tårn. Bygg det høyeste tårnet du klarer opp på denne piddestalen. På toppen av tårnet skal ett av disse eggene ligge. Tårnet måles om 20 minutter fra nå. Okay, so you can build a tower of anything you want, and then you put an egg on top. So you've only got the width of that stool to really, uh, to work off of. Sett sammen Siri, Vero og Marie. Så Kali's done something interesting. Tenker deg, her skal bygge og bygge og bygge til du sier ett minutt igjen. Da skal jeg legge egget på toppen. Ok, concrete blocks. Good idea. Da tok jeg av den veggen stor. I don't think this is gonna be Maria's strong one. I think Vegard's all over this already. Bare ta pedestalen, bygge noe høyt. What's the tape for? Jeg er sikker på at Boa prøver å jukse på en eller annen måte. Der. Oppå den hvite, men jagger ganske inn. Hva gjorde de før gaffet deg? I find it interesting that they call duct tape gaffer tape in Europe because we have gaffer tape here too, but it's very much just a film industry tape and it's black paper tape, not, not silver cloth tape. Okay, this is impressive. This is like genuinely very impressive. Jeepers, boards going all out. Okay. Okay. Now is the egg up there? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's building like a radio tower with guy wires and everything. Not yet. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Could have been a tragedy on the Kungun Befaler set. Maria, this will not be a mobber Maria program. Oh, but... But... What I like with you is that you are so happy with your children. Oh, no! So, so long, in fact, with 3 meters and 34 centimeters. Siri, you thought it was 6 meters, it's 3 meters and 96 centimeters. Vegar, 5, 14. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 5 meters and 14 centimeters. It's high. Uboard. Der var du bor, ja. 728. Is it a tower if it's being supported by a tree? That's a point of contention, but I'm happy to leave it in there. If I were Taskmaster. Hva kan man kalle det? Ok, what's Kali gotten up to? Du skal bygge et tårn opp på en pidestall, ikke sant? Så skal det måles. Ekstrem heft. Hva legger de? Ok. So he's gonna cock an egg in the lamp. He's not putting it on the pedestal. Oh no, he is. Okay. I'm assuming it's just gonna fail. Uh, no. So it's a DQ. Okay. Oh dear. Du klarer jo altså det vi trodde kanskje ikke var mulig å få til. Worse than Maria. Du klarer å presse deg under Maria for statusen. Ja, det var Bård som snakket om i førsteplassen. En stor applaus. All right, all right. The Ilvesakers rise to the top once again. These guys are too, too darn competent. Nå, Olli, nå skal Jørgen Hattemaker forsøke å... I do not know Jørgen Hattemaker. Ja. Okay, what's that about? Oh, they know what's coming. I didn't recognize... Is this like a mayor of Oslo or something? Hilde, welcome to Nittedal. Thank you, Hilde. Is this City Hall? Is that Nittedal? Okay, she's the mayor. She's the mayor. She's the mayor. Imponer, ordfører. Ah! This is the... This is definitely the a take on uh, a, a, an original classic. Oh, here it's about to imponer the mayor of Oslo. This is great. I mean, A, kudos for getting the mayor of Oslo to play along. That was a gruesome job. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Unskapsfull. Helt fantastisk job to be. Let's show you something very important. No! Never take your pants down in front of the mayor. Hahaha. Hahaha. 
unge Høyre sin sitt landsmøte for så lenge siden. Hvor er du, ligger du politisk? Det burde jeg visst, kanskje. Arbeiderpartiet. Du, du, ja. Ja, det er sant. Du sier til deg hvor du kan overleve det stemme av AUF til valget, da. Du kan ikke stemme på AUF, for det er ikke et parti. <laughs> She's doing push-ups. Tre. Three push-ups. <laughs> Ja, oh, she said impressive. Rett før fellesferien, for hvor felles skal den være? Så kan du gå bak og så kan du... Hey! Åh, oh, Maria. <laughs> oh, helga natt. Helga stund for verden. <laughs> okay, so what are the Ilva soccer brothers doing? We're not seeing them yet. <laughs> Oh, this is cringy. <laughs> oh, Maria. Oh. Oh. Poor Maria. Oh. <laughs> Stunned. Stunned. Uh. Hva skjedde? <laughs> Panikk! Hvor skal jeg begynne? Siri! Ja, jeg, uh. Så det er jo det eneste ordføreren driver med er jo å tale. Ja. Og så skal du imponere med å tale. Det er jo sånn at du skulle... Vi er midt i en oppgave hvor man skal underholde ordføreren. Oh, Nidadal is a town. Oh, ok. I thought that was like the, the name of City Hall or something. Ok. Is it a suburb of Oslo? Something like that? <laughs> uh, he's a competent pianist, of course he is. I can't just slut and I couldn't show nothing in Minton Hall, but then what and now he's gonna sound like a pig. It's a good pig. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing semi-decent piano, and now he's making pig noises. Okay. Early in the bucket. Uh, what does that idiom mean? Music, though. Wild child, savage rose. Never heard of all that, mate. Da skal jeg kanskje gjøre entré og sånn at det ser litt ordentlig ut. Ok. The sunlight hits the city with a hammer Oh, she's digging it. Through the glow, fair away to me I hope the mayor scores this. Like they did in the UK version. No! He made the mayor cry! <laughs> ah. Oh, he's got it, he's got it clean. There's no way he doesn't win. Ah. Genuinely impressive. Vin utspekulerte jævel. Men det var tårer! Ja, det var tårer. Det er klart det var tårer. Fantastisk! Fantastisk. Fullblått sociopat. Det er ingen som leser mennesker bedre enn psykopater. Men jeg fikk også, jeg fikk også veldig lyst til å bare banke meg selv. Det var ikke du som skriver poengene denne... Nei, det var ikke det. Så la meg sitere eh, ordføreren. Den som imponerte meg minst var Vegard. Et poeng. Oh no! <laughs> Siri, to poeng. Litt imponerende kom. Hvem kom det? <laughs> Tre poeng. Morsen var litt imponerende. Ja, ja. Så jeg fikk litt for morsen. Jeg tror ikke Maria visste hvor hun skulle, uh, hva hun holdt på med, hvor hun var, men hun fremførte hele ganske natt på en måte jeg aldri har før. <laughs> Og det kommer jeg aldri til å glemme. Four Hvor points! Ja. <laughs> <laughs> Bård skjønte intuitivt hvordan man skulle treffe både hjerterot og tårkanal. Fem poeng, og gratulerer. Wow, such a disconnect from Bård and all the others. Si så mange ord du klarer uten bokstaven S. Without the letter S. Oppgaven er over så fort du sier et ord med S. Oh, interesting. Jeg har gjentatt et ord. Du har et minutt 
I can eat. And then you just start naming foods that don't have S's in them with and in between them. Flee. Båt. Kaptein. Kattun. Fot. Oh, this is actually... Jøde. Flyktning. What? We're just... Arm. Wow, you're stuck that quickly? Hore. <laughs> oh. Bøgg. Vagina! <laughs> Alright, well, she didn't make a mistake. No mistakes. Men det gikk vel like ikke så verst. Nei, det var 23 ord. Hey. Ja. ja. Går det bra med deg? Det vet jo jeg at det gjør. Jeg har alltid beundret deg, Jolly. Jeg er jo en fyr. Snakkes. Oh. <laughs> 34 seconds. He was doing well, though. Det er den pys-taktikken som Maria tar. Ja, altså, det tok en god stund før du sa ordet S, men du gjentok ordet D etter fem ord. Ah, uh, yes, you can't repeat words either. That's tough. So my, my strategy would suck. You can't say and more than once. Ok. Mange ord du klarer uten. Oppgaven er over fort ett. <laughs> She's just reading them from the clue. <laughs> Tiden. No. What I suck. Did I say? Ah, ja, ja, ja. Men i det du forlot det manuset, da var det faen meg over fort. Men du klarte 18 ord, da, før du kom deg dit. Det er jo ikke så aller verst. Nei, det verste er at det ikke er så aller verst. Nei. The worst thing is that it's not too bad. Du har ett minutt. Tiden starter nå. Starter. I thought you were smart. Vigard, what the hell? <laughs> ah, I thought you were smart. Oh. Det var en gang en mann. Han ville like ting. Han likte mange ting. Han likte lange ting og korte. Ting, oh. ting, ting, ting. Yeah. Repeating a lot of words here. Han, 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 han. <laughs> I think Maria may have won that unless Kale got more than 23 in his 34 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> Det er jo veldig bra. Ja. Så vet jeg hvor mange poeng du har lyst til å om det blir 0 eller 1. Null poeng. Oh! Just a slap in the face. Zero. Maria, du får fem poeng. Jeg skal ikke komme. Du skal ikke komme. Fantastisk. How can you not love Maria? She just is always happy. Even when she's sucking. But when she wins, it's awesome. Nå skal dere få lov. Hvert øyeblikk, sivilisert, lov til å gå fram. Der ligger det fem verktøy. Ta et verktøy hver, og gå tilbake igjen til den kassen dere står bak. Taking a tool without knowing what to use it for. Er det sivilisert? Oh. The wire brush for Kai. Ikke begynn på noe som helst, bare løft den rett opp. Ok, it's jello. Ok. Spis så mye gelé dere klarer på 45 sekunder. Dere får kun lov til å bruke den fra klokka. So the ladle is actually a good one. Ta det opp, og så spiser man fra denne. Er du helt? Men kan jeg bruke denne sleiven? Oh, the scissors are gonna suck. Klar, ferdig! Scissors are terrible. And Maria loves eating. Den bare faller av! The hammer is not easy either. Løfte opp igjen. Ikke den siste. To, en, og... I would like to think that if you gave me two minutes, I could do that entire jello mold if I didn't have to use a tool. That's like peak eating. Som er spiselig? Ja. Så er det akkurat som det kommer noen vardøger over deg. Jeg sa ingenting, jeg på fire minutter på måte. Jeg bare, nå skal du ete høss. Det var merkelig vanskelig å få Kjellén til å ligge på hammeren. Kalle, du spiste en halv kilo mindre enn vinneren. En halv kilo mindre enn vinneren. 
Oh, okay. Bored, selv om du hadde en sleiv. Den ble fjerde plass. Oh, with the ladle. Overraskelig. Jeg klarte ikke å svelle det. I would have thought he'd have cleaned up. Er det noe som er vanskelig å svelle, så er det ikke det. Ja, ok. Du spiste 45 gram mer enn broren din. Ja, ja, men jeg hadde gitt opp det. Ja, Siri spiste ikke mye mer enn Vegard, men den som vant med en halv kilo mer enn Kalle, og 300 gram mer enn Siri, ja, det er deg. Maria destroyed. 300 grams more than second place. Oh! Tett. Men hvem var det som vant? Jo, det var Bård! Bravo, Bård. Vi ses igjen neste uke her fra Drammens Teater. If we haven't had exactly that build the tower on a pedestal task before, we've had very similar ones to that in the past. Again, everyone is highly proficient. That, that, that's that's the, the strongest thing I can say about this show. And it's not a bad thing at all. It's just you put any one of these people in a, um, in a UK season, and I feel like they'd be in contention to win the whole thing. So in a sense, that's that's hardest on the series and the series and the Callies of this series, who are up against the Ilvis brothers, and even Maria's putting in a really strong showing. She doesn't always kick ass, but but the woman can eat jello. Like, man, that that's impressive. Uh, what I'm actually quite enjoying about this series is also the prize tasks. They've come up with original prize tasks that I think are really interesting um, in in their concept. Uh, like especially like this one here, I was a little misled because of the subtitles because the subtitle said bring in something that you've killed, and and I'm like, well, either you bring in a, an animal corpse or you start taking that a little bit figuratively and like, here's a piece of uh, equipment, some technology, you know, like here's here's a laptop that I destroyed or something like that. In, in which case you're really basically just making the prize task a bunch of rubbish. But what, it, what they actually said, and which took me a little bit, but I figured out eventually is here is something that I have killed with. And, and that changes things because Four of the five admitted to killing animals. Although technically Bord didn't admit that it was an animal. He he was vague enough that it could have been human. Um, and it would be really dark if it did come out down the road that Bord had in fact killed somebody with a sledgehammer a few years back. Um, and he admitted it on, on national television. <laughs> so let's hope it was... Uh, you know, a rat or something, you know, even still, kind of grisly. A sledgehammer is a, a gnarly murder weapon. Ah. I'm trying to remember the other tasks. There was the, the balance the egg cup. There was... Why am I blanking? I feel like there was one that was a straight copy. The saying the word task. Super simple. Uh, don't say anything with the letter S. And yet, like, it's, it's a super easy one to understand, a really hard one to do, especially no repeats. That's, that's the killer extra rule that really punishes you. You really, at that point, you can't use sentences. You have to just start naming words, and you've got a minute to do it. I wonder if I could do more than 23 in a minute, but I've been thinking about it too long at this point. It's not the same as having that th the, the task thrust upon you and having no time to, to react. But, but, but clever, like, it's just a smart, it's just a smart task. It's just, how well can you think on your feet? I, I, I like the design of tasks like that. And impress the mayor. Impress the mayor. That that one's straight from. I'm trying to remember what season of Taskmaster that one's from, but I remember it clear as day, and I like that they leave it up to the mayor to do the judging. Bored just kind of ran away with that one, didn't he? He 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 was like genuinely impressive. He he learned himself a new song, and performed it pretty darn well, all within. I don't know what the time limit was, but it wasn't that much time. 15, 20 minutes? And everyone else just kind of embarrassed themselves. I didn't think... I didn't think Vagard did that poorly. 
to deserve just the zero, uh, the one point. But, you know, impression, impressing somebody is, a, by definition, subjective. Anyway, it was a another fun episode. I'm really digging this series. I, I'm looking forward to eventually getting to season two. I'll, uh, I'll do that when there's a gap in the schedule. A lot of it will depend on when season 13 of the original comes out, when I can squeeze in season one of New Zealand. I will be getting to that. Don't worry. I know a lot of you are asking for that. I have to imagine season three of New Zealand will be coming eventually too. And I don't know. Should I be checking out other international versions? I, I've heard... That they, they did a test run of a German version that never made it to air, so that's not a good sign. I've heard the Spanish one is quite terrible. I've heard decent reviews of the Swedish and Finnish versions. Are there any others that I should uh, be aware of? I think there was a Belgian one, but that was like years ago and it didn't do well. But I'm, I'm encouraged by the number of you already checking out these Kungen Befaller reactions. I, I, it was a bit of a gamble on my part whether there would be an audience. I, I'm excited that you guys are giving this show a chance if you haven't seen it before. And if you have seen it before, I love that you're uh, joining me for these reactions as I discover it for the first time. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm looking forward to the remainder of the season. And until next time, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.